Okay, here we go again. Three this time. Seven by nine canvases. This is a little BMW convertible. Um, doors open, all that kind of stuff. I guess the trunk, that, that stuff doesn't open. But anyway, um, little BMW uh, convertible. BMW four-door sedan, I guess. This might be a Cayenne or, no, nah, it's not. Anyway, whatever, whatever that is, the BMW. Cayenne's has a portion anyway. And then this is a uh, Camaro SS. Pretty cool. Okay, and that's the way those are gonna go. Flames out the back. Booga, booga, booga. There we go. Play again. I think the black and uh, this time is a lot thinner. I'm getting there. One of these days I'll get the paint down right. It's the consistency of it. It's like anything, I guess. Practice, practice, practice. Gotta keep it going. Keep doing the same thing over and over and over till you get it right. I was kind of beginning to think I uh, wasted my money on this, uh, the world's smallest little blower, but uh, <laughs> this is coming out cool. I am happy. It's turning out really cool. These are almost too small for those size cars. Perfect for the uh, matchbox and, uh, and Hot Wheels, or at least the Hot Wheels. I don't have matchbox. Didn't find any of those, but uh, not Hot Wheels. But anyway, the guy with the European uh, car show, one-to-one -one cars, um, scale, real cars, um, they wanted something small they could use as a trophy type of thing. And uh, so that's about as small as I can get. Narrower, yes, but I can't find, I wanted like a six by 12 for those cars. But uh, they also wanted smaller cars like the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels and stuff. But uh, the only thing I found on that was a little Volvo station wagon. Yeah, they had a, a Range Rover, big SUV Jeep looking thing. So, at any rate, all right. See you when uh, these are done and ready dried and ready to uh, ready to epoxy.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here we go on the uh, seven by nines, the three. This is the BMW convertible, the BMW sedan, and that's a uh, 55 Thunderbird. Uh, change this up a little bit because uh, the car I was going to put on there didn't fit. So anyway, so I changed it to a Thunderbird, and there we go. We're all ready to epoxy. And you'll notice I uh, changed the pad. It's still a used one that I had, but uh, I'm uh, making it look a little clean. Okay, here goes. Let's go. I'll go my glasses in this. this. Oh, great. Here we go. Another clumsy day. Okay, here goes nothing. found out when doing uh, the 5x7 panels for the little Hot Wheels, this table is a sag in the middle, and uh, <laughs> the uh, Mario car rolled right off the front, because I had it sitting here, and it was facing that way, so that's going downhill, so now I know I never had that problem before because everything's kind of been in the middle of the table. I had to put a little, uh, more like uh, chopstick things, skewers, underneath the uh, downside of the cup. Keep everything from rolling off the front or off the middle. Live and learn. Always well, knew the table was level, but uh, because it sits on the floor. And, uh, I never thought about the table being sagging in the middle until then. Okay, that looks pretty good. How are we doing bubble wise? Okay, a bunch of them in uh, the one underneath. I'm wondering how come some of my, especially on the black, it kind of had kind of shadow, like very light gray shadow underneath there and it turns out it's the bubbles that are still in there. Now these car uh, panels uh, pieces with the cars on it is from uh, inspired by holiday painting I believe his uh, site is I've mentioned him before when I did the uh, the Ghost Rider and the and the Harley and the Corvette and uh, I haven't mentioned him this time but uh, he's the inspiration of this well he does the uh, 10 by 20 and he uses uh, Hot Wheels and, and Matchbox uh, cars, which uh, I didn't realize it watching his uh, YouTube channel, but uh, when I actually stuck one of those little cars on that big 10x20, <laughs> it doesn't show up as big as it does in his, uh, 
and his stuff unless they have different sizes of uh, hot wheels but uh, anyway um, there we go here we go yeah, there's the tires you need the tires in there and they need about a half inch in the front Okay, folks, there we are. Uh, I will uh, put a little video and uh, some photographs of uh, these three. Uh, these are the seven by nines, so this is a video by itself. Uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment, like or dislike. And uh, thank you very much. Bye. See you on the next one. Okay, here's the uh, dried version of the 9x7 canvases. This is the uh, BMW convertible. This is the BMW sedan, four-door sedan. And this is the 55 Thunderbird, Ford Thunderbird. And there they are. Okay. And thank you for watching and uh, all that kind of stuff. And see you on the next one. Bye.